Ah, oh, shit, that didn't work. Let me scroll through on Netflix and see what's next on the agenda. Let's see, which one is the next one? Now let's go here. The horror section. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Not that motherfucker. I think I'm gonna need some help on this one, definitely. Um, let's see, uh, who do I call? Let's see. Um, Chris and Anna, he's not really much of a horror fan, so he wouldn't be much help. Uh, Harrison, maybe? Maybe Abe? But he's kind of busy right now, plus COVID, so that's not going to work. Who do I have left? I saw Brian Josh into this. Oh hey Josh, so I'm kind of a bit in a pickle. I just got done reviewing Bride of Chucky and I was wondering if you could help me on with the next one. Well, I was looking to see which one is the next one and the next one apparently is the worst one in the Child's Play franchise. I remember it being pretty bad, so I was wondering if you could help me with that. The film I'm talking about is Seed of Chucky. Yeah, that one. can get here uh, by chance uh, anytime soon to help me out here. Okay, thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Joshua, and I'm Josh too, and welcome back to our Child's Play franchise review series, and I've been doing this franchise review series just by myself for the most part, but I honestly felt like I, I needed some massive help with this next one, because, ooh, man, it's like, it's, it's one of those that's considered one of the worst of horror films and stuff like that in terms of like franchises. So I think it, like a lot of people put this next to like films like Hellraiser Revelations, Freddy's Dead, The Fall Nightmare, Resurrection, Halloween Resurrection, just all that different stuff. Like Jason Goes to Hell, you know, it's like when you think of really awful, like basically, you know, in terms of these franchises, in terms of what not to do, but this franchise, a lot of people point to this one in terms of what not to do with the Chucky movie. And that movie we got for you today is the fifth installment of this franchise, and that is Seed of Chucky. 2004. This Thanksgiving, before you stuff it, baste it, and serve it, someone very special wants to show you how to carve it all up. <laughs> Jennifer Tilly, Billy Boyd, Red Man, and directed by Don Mancini. The plot of Seed of Chucky is that Gentle Glenn, voiced by Billy Boyd, is a ventriloquist dummy and the offspring of the evil doll Chucky, voiced by Brad Dourif, and is a doll bride Tiffany, portrayed again by Jennifer Tilly, both of whom are now deceased. When the orphaned Glenn hears that a film being made about his parents, he goes to Hollywood and resurrects them in an attempt to get to know them better. He is horrified when Chucky and his lover embark on a new killing spree. And Chucky is equally horrified that his son has no taste for evil. Let me discuss my pauses because I only have a couple. Uh, I, I will say before I get into this too, Josh's thoughts is going to surprise you. Just be nice to him in the comments section, okay? You know, we all have our own opinions. I definitely have mine. He has his. Just be nice to him, okay? He's he's a great friend of mine, you know. <laughs> you <my> dude. <laughs> but I'm trying to save you from the comment section. You know how ruthless YouTubers can be. I'm, I'm okay. I'm a big boy. Especially when it comes to like movies, apparently, because you can't talk about movies anymore. Bro, you can't talk about anything without somebody being a baby. Yeah. So. Like, without being a whiny little bitch about it. Pretty you know, much, yeah. Like, keyboard justice warrior, almost. Yeah. It's like... Well, that's half the fun, though. So, it's all good. So, yeah. So, just please be nice to him. Respect his opinions on this movie. Respect my opinions on this movie, because 
I'm not sure if there's some people out there who would probably agree with him 100% or close to agree with him. Uh, I'm sure there's probably some people out there. But anyways, let me discuss my positives and then you can discuss his. So one of my positives I have honestly with this movie is the main theme. Actually, the main theme, uh, I don't care for the opening tell sequence, which I'll get to in my negatives, but the main theme, like the music for this film is actually pretty good in terms of like the music composed for it. You know, it has one of the better uh, Chucky theme songs in this movie. And that's it. That's, <laughs> that's the only thing I can say is 100% good with Cena Chucky. I can't think of anything else that's like a not next song or I just absolutely despise with a fiery passion. Now let's move on to Josh, and Josh is here may be controversial for a lot of you guys, which is why I'm saying please be nice to him in the comments section. Don't be like a total douche slash jackass in the comments section towards him. Uh, he is a good friend, like really good friend of mine. He's been involved with this channel lately. In fact, has helped out quite a bit, so. To be honest, I'm your best friend. Yeah. Well, one of them, I got several. Well, the best is best. <laughs> uh, so, 90% of this movie was positive for me. Like, 90%. Oh man, I feel bad I, for I, you. Uh, I actually rather enjoyed the corny opening scene, like the opening credits. I really, really liked like the design of Glenn and the idea of Glenn, and it really made you feel like sympathetic for him the whole movie through because of the beginning of the movie, you know? And I like the versions of both Chucky and, uh, and, uh, Tiffany. Tiffany, yeah. I kept wanting to say Tilly, but I knew that was, like, the actual actress's name. <laughs> uh, so, I like, like, the writing of both of them a lot. Um, uh, let me think. I like most of the kills. My favorite kill was the... Kind of spoiler, but I guess everybody's probably seen this movie. That yeah. last one is. Um, and my favorite kill was like when he got that sulfuric acid dumped on him. The photographer, you know, that was freaking awesome. I thought. Uh, yeah, pretty just really the whole movie, man. Like ninety percent of the movie. I did have a few little problems. Like it was pretty corny uh, motions in a few parts. Like, well, actually, I'll do this and we do mixed spots. Oh so yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess, well, yeah, so that's, that's, I mean, I don't know, man, this was probably my first or second favorite child's play movie. It really was, I'm not even joking around, I'm being serious. I'm so feeling bad for you, especially in regards to the comments section, because I know there's not, there's going to be some people. Well, that's that okay, it's that's like, okay. Oh. I, I'll rest in, I'll rest assured that I have a better life than them, that's why I'm not over there typing those kind of comments, you know, so they can go at it if it makes them feel better, but, uh... Because <laughs> most of the people in the horror community would say, see, that Chucky is by far one of the worst. Yeah, yeah, no, I've heard it, I've, I've seen the thoughts on it, uh, but I, yeah, I, that's my, that's my honest opinion, you know, was I, I really well, and I was like that. I was like that with Rob Zombie's Halloween too. I'm like the only person alive that loved the heck out of those. Two like movies. Rob Zombie's Halloween too. Yeah. Well, both of them. The first one and the second. Now, story. here's the thing. Like, I actually like. I'm kind of on the same level with him in terms of Rob Zombie's Halloween too, because uh, it took like the first time I watched it, I absolutely hated it. But girls in huh? Yeah. Yeah. This one did not. I've watched it several different times, and I even watched it with him. And I did not love it. Yeah, I had, well, I, I had seen, I think, parts of this movie with you before, but I don't... And I remember you were bitching and moaning about it. Right, it. right, and that, see, and that's the weird thing, because I, I'm pretty sure this, I, like, did not like this movie at all the first time I watched it, but I just, I had so much fun so with it. So it's kind of like, movie. for, like, let's say me with Rob Zombie's how many right. with yeah. you. Right, yeah, yeah, it really grew on me, so... It, it's not going to work with me, because, I mean... I watched it with him, which is what happened with me with Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. I still hate Z though, Chucky. Yeah, I don't know. It had kind of like a, a Nightmare Before Christmas kind of magic feeling to it. I don't know how to explain it, man. Uh, is there anything you're mixed on in terms of like stuff that, you know? You want me to say my biggest one? Yeah. So, I liked the idea of Glenn and Glenda a, a lot, right? But I think that instead of taking like a 
uh, transgender twist to it. I think that it would have been better off using like a schizophrenic twist to it. Um, now here's the thing. I don't mind the idea of like right. It's just like this, like it. I just don't because like for me, I think that could have been rather interesting. Right. That Chucky's like own offspring is trying to figure out his or her sexuality right. and that. Um, and everything is kind of confused on all that stuff. Even the film, he was like, Sometimes I feel like a, I'm a boy. Sometimes I feel like a girl. Can I be both? It's like, well, and, and see, and I felt like he kept leaning back and forth between like, between like the tr transgender thing and then like schizophrenia because on one side yeah. he wanted to kill and the other side he didn't want yeah, to kill. Yeah, because it's like, because so. it's like, you know, they made it to where, you know, his boy part of him is like, like his boy is, side, is uh, like one of the more gentle beings and yeah. stuff like that. Nothing like his parents. Uh, and then you have his uh, kind of female side, female side that is like maybe even more unhinged than Chucky, Chucky and Tiffany. Yeah. Well, so, like, definitely because remember Chucky even like was like, "What the shit?" You know, like what what is this? You know. So it's like, so it's like it's almost like it's confused on like the movie in itself is confused on um, what, what its whole point is what its whole point yeah. is it is it like schizophrenia is it trans like the whole issue of like the whole thing of transgender right. and stuff like that trying to find your sexuality and then yeah. uh it's like what and then even then it didn't amount to anything because by the end of the film uh they just ended up like kind of s splitting his souls and that into a boy and girl I actually, I kind of liked that. I mean, I kind, I, I did too, but at the same time too, it's like, it, it just made it seem much more like it was confused a lot. Yeah, kind of a pointless, pointless act. Honestly. So, and again, I think the idea could have been pretty good to tackle, you know? Well, how would you, do you have any ideas on how you would have? <sighs> Let's see, well. That's, that's a hard one, but. Yeah. Hmm. And I think also too, we don't really get to know his, uh, female side a lot. Yeah, because it's really only like what Yeah, like the only like it's kinda of his female side is kinda of one note crazy, mm -hmm. you know? At least we got to know Tiffany, at least we got to know Chucky. We right. got to know Glennon. Right. We didn't got to know uh Glenda, I guess. Yeah, well and, and the the only part of her that like but you don't even really get to see her at the end. I mean, I thought it was kind of cool at the end because her human counterpart looked like exactly like Chucky in a yeah. little kid form, you know? So yeah, like, especially in a girl form. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it was just eerie, you know? Yeah. It's uh, like, so yeah, it's, it's just it just seemed like it was confused. The movie was confused on itself. Yeah. Too, with that part. With that part. In terms of what it wanted to do. Yeah. So. Uh. See anything else for the next one in terms of stuff that we're like kind of half and half on with this movie? I thought maybe there was a little tiny bit too much comedy. Yeah, uh, which uh, that's definitely not a mixed aspect. Uh, that's more well, see, it's mixed for me because I really like the comedy, so that's why I'm kind of like. You know, but the fact that this is a sequel to a horror yeah, series, yeah, it's see, like, for you that's a major downfall. Yeah, like, and I, especially since the last one, Bright and Bright and Chucky mixed the horror and comedy pretty well. Yeah, you would have preferred it like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess that's it in terms of our mixed aspects. I think so. I definitely have a lot of negatives. I'm not sure if you have any negatives, like stuff that you just Ooh, did I did have one more. So let's just uh, move on into that section. I'll let you go first because you don't have much negatives, so as I do. My really only huge negative, it, well, and this is kind of biased, right? But I do not like rappers a whole lot in the first place, but then putting them in movies, especially like these horror movies. I feel like the only time happy a rapper in a horror movie worked was a LL Cool J having an H2O. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, well, I mean, he didn't, he wasn't like all f full of himself yeah. like Red Man and. Whatever the Plus fuck. Yeah, that guy, you know? Like, like they're just arrogant and they're disgusting yeah. people in general, and I don't like seeing them yeah. in something that At least they made L.L. Cool know? J a likable right, character in right. H2O yeah. and all that stuff, so. Yeah. Plus, at the time, he was one of the few kind of minority characters that actually survived <laughs> yeah. a, a slasher movie. Yeah. I'm honestly surprised, like, I would have preferred L.L. Cool J to be in Halloween Resurrection and Buster Ron. Yeah, dude. That would have been awesome. 
I definitely agree with that. Most of the time, rappers and horror movies especially do not work out very well. Yeah. So, I mean, I know in uh, Texas Chainsaw 3D, there's even an actor who's a rapper, uh, Trey Songs. I don't know who that is either, but uh, they put him in there in Texas Chainsaw 3D. It, well, and it's just to appease like the hip culture, and I think yeah. that's completely ridiculous and a lazy. Yeah, thing. it almost it just seems like it's kind of a cash grab. It is, it, yeah, so. yeah, it totally is. It's like when they did that. So uh, just to bring this up, and then I'll drop it. So like they did that with Venom too. The whole Venom thing was all Eminem. Yeah. You know, that was Eminem's big part was making that stupid song. It was the dumbest song ever made. You know. Yeah. So. I don't so. Know. It's like. I hope that trend dies out eventually. Yeah. It's like, because it just doesn't seem to work for Hollywood at all. Yeah. So, did not like a red man in this movie at all, uh, or his character. Yeah. Also, another thing I didn't like, which I think might have could have worked, but if it was done in a much later movie, you know, because it's like, again, like I said, we went from something like Bride of Chucky that kind of balanced the comedy, comedy and horror pretty well, and kind of was a tad bit meta on itself too, but I didn't went overboard with it, but in like this next one, see the Chucky, it went overboard with it, it was full on meta, it was full on comedy, and I think it was in like a really great transition into that, and like this almost feels like it doesn't feel like it's like the fifth Chucky movie, it feels like the seventh, eighth or something like that, yeah. the Chucky movie. I guess I'll agree with that. So, because of that, so... Oh. And it's like, that could definitely, I, I definitely think that's what jarred a lot of people this movie, and definitely what jarred, like, kind of, like, didn't jar well with me either. It's just like, we went from something like Bride of Chucky that bounced a lot of different stuff pretty well, to something like Seed of Chucky. And even, and that's another thing too, this has tons of different, like, subplots and different stuff that, and different things it tries to tackle that, it's just a jumbled mess, actually. So, like, you got the whole meta thing where they're in Hollywood and all that stuff. You also got stuff like, not only, you know, for example, not only uh, Jennifer Tilly voicing Tiffany, but also portraying her, a fictionalized subversion of herself. And Tiffany going all, like, fangirl over Jennifer Tilly and that, wanting to transfer her soul to Jennifer Tilly and that. And it's like... And then also, too, you got the other stuff, too, like, with Glenn and Glenda, you know, with the whole... I guess think of like kind of like the whole trying to find a sexuality thing, which I guess is what they were going for, or the schizophrenia, or whatever dominant scene he was trying to go for with it. And then you got just different subplots too, with like uh, Jennifer Tilly and Redman and all that different stuff. There's so much different things. I, I don't even remember a lot of them. Like I just thought remember of one, and that's uh the the reporter John Waters, which is the person who got killed with that. So for guess. Yeah, it's like. Not that too, there's other different stuff too, like some weird shit. Here's the thing, I love weird shit. We both do. But I think this went overboard for me in terms of this franchise. Like, you get a scene where Chucky's fucking, like, masturbating into a cup. Remember? It was a pretty good scene, man. Oh, just joking. Just, just kidding. Just to save my ass, I'm just joking. The just only joking. part, like, the only part of that moment that actually made me laugh. Is when he was going through the magazines and, that, and he got to his and then he got to the Fangoria magazine and he was like, that's one he chose to use. I thought the whole scene was pretty great just because of like the re the reaction from the uh, journal from the reporter John you know? Waters. Yeah, like it was just it was it was funny as crap. I thought. Eh. And know that too. It's like, did we really need to see like the Tiffany doll's tits? Well, no. <laughs> Like, I didn't even see that. No. I could have gone throughout my whole life without seeing that. Well, it was still added to the comedy, man. It was funny. Uh, again, com just remember, Josh, comedy is subjective, just like movies are subjective. That's why I think you're so funny in the way else does. Yeah, it's like, there's just certain stuff like that. That's... It's just so, like, there's so many different things going on in this movie. And just doesn't work. I think honestly, there could have been two sub, like two plots in this movie, and it would have been a lot better. That's what I would have done. I would have at least picked two plots going on with this film, and that's uh, the first plot being, you know, the whole uh, Chucky and Tiffany uh, 
reuniting with their offspring, their offspring, and trying to find, you know, human bodies to transfer each of their souls into, and that, you know, because that's kind of been the thing with the series. So that could have been the main plot, and then the other plot, you know, with uh, Glenn trying to find the sexuality and stuff like that. Uh, I think that's all you really needed with this. You didn't need, you could have, like, I would have got rid of the meta shit like that. I would got, like, I would have de toned down the comedy, added a lot more horror to it. Like, kind of like, almost a perfect balance, like, Bride of Chucky with that. And that's all I think this film really needed. In fact, uh, interesting thing, uh, originally this film was under the title Son of Chucky, actually. But for some reason, it was switched to C. And also because a lot of this stuff too, like the meta stuff, the jokes and stuff like that they pull off, really dates this movie too. This does feel like an early 2000s movie. And that's it, you know? Like, for example, there's a fucking Britney Spears joke, like Britney Spears. It was hilarious, man. But it did, like, it wasn't even really that funny. It was just like, she's still a deal. Britney Spears is still up and kicking. I haven't even heard a single thing out of Britney fucking Spears in like a decade. She's still in rehab. She'll be back out. <laughs> Look at Lindsay Lohan, it happens. I haven't even heard of anything of fucking Lindsay Lohan. I kind of forgot she was even a thing until you brought her up. Yeah. Her and Charlie Sheen disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle for a couple months. Some kind of STD or <laughs> Man, this is just. Uh, I think this, like, our jokes is going to date this video <laughs> by quite a bit. Yeah, or we're going to get, like, some serious backlash from, like, one of these people we're talking smack about. Yeah, it's like. Eminem will make a song about us. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Redman might make a song about <laughs> us. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know if he still like does that stuff. Right? I don't know either. It's like, see what I'm talking about with the datedness of this movie. Yeah. Anyway, I could go on and on about with my negatives with this movie all like all day, really, because this was like this is just one of those movies that just fucking frustrates me like to no end. Honestly, I'll like like. Okay, I'll discuss this after our rating. So with that said, I'm going to give C to Chucky a one and a half out of five stars. The only positives I really have with this movie, it, like, there's only one positive, one thing I'm kind of mixed on. But outside of those two things I mentioned, there's nothing really to enjoy with this movie for me. And this is a movie that I don't really revisit that often, like, at all. And probably after this review, I probably will never revisit again. So, like, and I think it's kind of glad that the, like, especially Curse of Chucky, which is next on the list here, kind of, in a sense, uh, not really focus on the whole seed of Chucky stuff as much in there. But yeah, uh, there's no wonder does this consider one of the worst. Like, when you're talking about, like, big horror franchises and that stuff, like, up there with some of the worst sequels of these horror franchises. <laughs> we just prepare for his rating, cause oh man. Well, I had I really did like truly enjoy this movie. Uh, uh, I thought it was. Are you gonna give your rating? Funny as crap. Hold on. No. Oh. I thought it was funny as crap. And maybe one of the funniest. <laughs> best written. But honestly, man, like it was really. I thought it was really well written. I would give it a four and a half out of five. <laughs> Yeah, I really would. I'd give it four and a half. Man. I really would. Do. To be honest, I'm actually like how I'm reacting to your thoughts is much more kinder than probably what what the people on the internet would give. That's all right. Let me come up. I have no other words right now. But I, I will say right now, I think I've given a name to my pain, and that name is Joshua. Oh yeah. So that's it for this review. Thank you guys for watching. Josh is out.
Make sure you watch this movie though, because it's really, really great. Make sure you don't watch this movie. <laughs> So that we could, like, because the more times we watch movies like this, the more times people would start making this kind of shit. Start cult following, it's worth it. Trash this movie all day, because it's not worth it. See ya. <laughs> I'm just done. I'm just done. I'm done with you! That's